two, beats 90 day. So today we're gonna to focus mostly on pull movements of the upper body, so focusing mostly on the scapula, the shoulder blade. We're gonna see it pull back and pull down. That's gonna be our main movements today. And Pete don't know this yet, but we're gonna throw a little bit of abs on that too. So, so what's a superset? In case people were wondering, like Pete, what's a superset? We're gonna we're gonna we do the pull down and the pull up. We're gonna set these exercises together. There, there's not gonna be any rest. The only rest time is gonna be however long it takes for you to get from here to the pull up. Okay. Okay. So real quick, going over the pull down. So we're gonna use a straight bar today. There's a number of different grips that we could use, and this is it. That right there. Pulling the shoulder blades down, and then pulling the weight down, making sure your elbow stays in line with the pull. All the way back up. Shoulders. So I did this yesterday, and I and I felt it in my shoulders. We're gonna try this out. So we're starting off with a six. Yeah, yeah. Lightweight, lightweight. Shoulders, shoulders. So what's the count on this? Good, so we're gonna pull it down to one, hold it for two, up for three. There you go. Oh, it's just light. We're gonna bring this elbow in a little bit more. Hold it right there, bring the elbows in, can you bring them more? Yeah, oh wow. Right there. What's up, man? There you go. Good. Bring his elbows forward. Wow, bro, that's so weird. Give me three more. You got three more? Good control. Very good. Whenever Sunday Okay, this is weird because I've been doing this workout for years and I just kind of just been pulling it down. But he's telling me to pull my shoulders back and I actually feel that pull right there. Right? You want to make sure that you can have a good range of motion here. So when you grab onto it, go ahead and bend your knees, okay. and then just pull yourself up. So now if you're gonna pull yourself up like. Can you give me an example? Down, absolutely. Of course, I can give you an example. Now grab onto it like so. Yeah. Now pull up. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Bend knees. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's try it out. How many do you want? Ten. A little slower. There you go. There you go. Very good. Wow, I feel that. Yep. Two more. Oh man. One Ooh. more. Chest up. One more. You got it. You got it. You got it. Boom. Very Ooh, good. boy. <laughs> Let me see doing those fast. Yeah, those pulls, sir. A little bit more control. Okay, so boom. That, we hit those two exercises back to back, okay? So now for your rest, we're gonna do a little bit of ab work. Okay, cool. For your rest. Okay, so this is gonna be our ab workout, our ab exercise here, kind of a little bit of a rest break as well for the, for the back muscles. Um, when it comes to exercise and exercise names, I don't really care what you call it. Okay. You know, you'll find multiple different names for the same exercise. Chest press, or push up, or a seated lateral press, it's a press, right? Okay. So this here, we're going to the exercise of this. The name of this exercise is either hot-footed lizard or wobbly lizard or drunken lizard. Okay. I don't care what you call it. it. Doesn't matter to me. The movement matters. Okay, so this is gonna be putting some stress on the abs. We're gonna go on our elbows on the mat, right in base with your legs, okay. and then switch. Hold it for about three seconds. And switch. Okay, so you said open like this? Yep. Okay. So, okay. That's right. Yep, hold opposite up for about three seconds. 
Very good. Very this good. was really good. Okay. Head forward or head down? So, whatever's comfortable right there. Don't, don't let your head hang, but if you want to, if holding it up is stressing your neck too much, it's just whatever's comfortable. The main idea of this exercise is to stress the abs. Yeah. You got 10 seconds. Uh. Time. Oh, wow. Bro. So, I feel that right here. Right here too, bro. So now that we've done that, so basically we did three exercises without any rest. Your rest were your was your ab workout. So okay. we're gonna take about 30 more seconds here to catch your breath. We're gonna go back to the heavy pull down. Okay. Cool. So okay. the trick here will be making sure retraining your body, and some of it might be shoulder mobility, which we may get into. Check some of that as we go. Yeah. Is when you get to the end of the movement. Don't let your elbows come back here. Try to keep them forward. And that may require you to shorten the movement as well. And that's gonna be okay for now. As we develop this movement, you'll be able to get more range from it, okay? We're gonna go a little bit heavier this set, and we're gonna go a little bit less on our reps, okay? So, so we put up two plates. We're gonna do 12 reps. Arms down, arms down, elbows forward. Check it in the mirror to make sure that that straight line from the other is equal. There you go. There you go. Almost there. So, so dropping the shoulders is kind of hard to get used to. Yep. Yep. Drop the shoulders. Yep. Drop the shoulders. Good boy, Max. What'd you say? Good boy, Max. Good work. Yeah, okay. So I'm usually pulling. Yeah, okay. I guess it's all about form, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Form and control. Okay. So, uh, so I've, been, I've been pretty much just doing it wrong. Just moving weight. I mean, I'm. Yeah, just moving weight. Right. right. Not. So there's a difference between working yourself out and wearing yourself out. And what we're trying to do here is optimize our movement pattern, our time in. Did, did you guys hear that? There's a difference between working yourself out, and working out. Yeah. Like work, yeah. Uh, work yourself out or wear yourself out. Or work yourself out or wear yourself yeah. out. Okay. Yep. So I've been, wow, okay. As we're getting into this workout, and as we're fatiguing these muscles, okay. we're gonna make certain adjustments to either weight or rest time, okay. right? It's, it's whatever your limit is now. Wherever you're at now with your fitness, we're gonna try to adapt the program to fit it. So we gotta go into our pull-ups now. We're gonna shoot for 10. We want good range. We wanna be sure we're dropping the shoulders. If you were getting to a point where you were not getting good range, we're gonna stop, we're gonna take a few seconds to recover, a rest set, we're gonna jump back in and finish that. So usually when I do this, I just usually just grab the bar and crank them out, right? Yep. I can do like 15, 20, easy. Yep. I'm struggling on just doing nine right now. This is gonna so. be different. Okay, cool. So, same thing, right? Same thing, you want 10, give me as many as you can with good range, good control. If you need to stop, if we're losing too much range, we'll stop it to go to rest. Short rest. There you go. Down slow. Yeah, there we go. Right there. Back to our end. Back to our yeah, so usually, usually because I have a camera, 
I wouldn't be stopping in between, but because we're moving the camera and I don't have Trey right now to move the camera around. I'm getting more rest than what I'm supposed to be getting, but yeah. There it is. Good a few seconds up. So the issue that I had when I was working out was I didn't know what a set was. Yeah. Right? And then the other thing was I didn't know what a what a rep was. Yep. Right? So when he's saying, hey, this is our third set, in the past I'd be like, wait, what's a set? What's a rep? Did you explain what a rep is? Yeah, so it's this what a set is? The gym lingo, basically. Uh, a rep is one movement performed. A one rep. Yeah, one movement. One movement performed. One movement is a set. Yeah, so when you're counting. No, rep. One movement is a rep. Okay. When you're counting during your, your exercise, okay. you're counting reps. Repetition. Repetition. One when repetition. You, when you're done with that, you've now completed one set. So let's say there's, like, if you say, hey, give me 10 reps. Yes. There's 10. 10 movements. 10 movements. Yes. And then you say, give me. 10 reps for three sets. That means yes. that's 30, right? Yes. Okay. Means you'll do you'll do 10, and then there's some kind of the pause in the movement. Okay. Whether it's a rest or whether you're moving on to a different muscle group or, or compounding the same muscle group, there's a little bit of a pause in that. And then you go back and you do another group of 10 movements. Yeah. That group is the set, the movements are the reps. So what I've been doing right now, I've been because I've been moving the camera around, usually, I won't be stopping. Right. We'll be boom, going, going, going. Praise God, I got the camera. <laughs> so we're starting our third set here. This will be 12 reps. Okay. 12. So 12 times, third set. Shoulder. The elbow is pulling. Now you want shoulder down, right? Yep. Shoulders. Shoulder down. One. Shoulders up. Two. Watch the elbows be in the movement. Keep going forward. Keep going forward. That was a fantastic negative. <coughs> Three seconds left. There you go. Concentrate on three different things. Yep. Usually I'm just pushing the weight. <clears throat> oh man. What's that? So I was telling I was telling John that usually I'm just pulling the weight down. But now I'm thinking shoulders back, elbows forward. Concentrate on the negative going up. I like, man, what did I do this before? Anyways. Okay, cool. Over here again? Pull ups. Pull ups. Now, right now, I can feel this, and this, and this right now. And I'm on that one. I got one more, right? Yeah, yeah, we still gotta have to hit this set. Okay. All right, here we go. I don't even have my headset. 
All right. Now, usually I wouldn't be resting. There you go. Get control. Okay, now, see, I got to lay now. Yep. Okay. So I got three more. Yep. We'll take no more than 15 seconds here. Okay. Three, get it. <coughs> Two, you got it, you got it. Three, come on. Get up there. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Third set. These suck, man. They suck. What else? What? You want to what? <laughs> You're strong, man. Hey, where, where are we going? Hey, hear me out. I don't care how strong you are. That right there will kick your butt, man. Bro. Do that at home. For fun. In between uh, commercials. <laughs> so here, this is frightening to me. I come in here for about an hour, an hour and a half. I've only been here. And off and on with the camera, I got maybe 20 minutes of working out. I'm tired, bro. Okay, I'm gonna go drink some water. So, he's low enough what we're gonna be working on, but I wanted to make this quick video because I just said something that's just mind boggling to me. Uh, he just said something. So, I've been coming for years just moving weight, and there's a difference between exhausting yourself and working out. And so I'm, I'm pushing 12s, right, 12s, you know, on the pull down lats. And he says, hey, we could do six. And I'm like, man, that's, that's not even heavy. That's, a, that's nothing. I, and he's like, when you're doing them, you got to do them the right way so you can feel that burn. So I'm like, all right, cool. So drop your shoulders, elbows down, release slowly. And I'm like, after the fourth rep, I'm feeling what I would usually feel like on a ninth or tenth rep. And I'm like, okay, I'm feeling that, you know, and so... Yeah, man, if, if you've been working out and you've just been, I'm telling you, when you get a hold of someone who knows what they're doing, just like in anything, you know, if you know I'm a teacher, I teach people, so I've been doing this for a while, so actually I teach people uh, how to do certain things because I've been doing it for so long. Uh, but in the same way, the guy that I'm working with, John, he's been doing this for 10 years, a little over 10 years, he's given his life to it. So obviously if he gives his life to it, it means he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I'd say he's pretty dedicated if he gave his life to it. So. I'm gonna get it in, man. We gotta get this in. 90 days, I'm excited. Ready to go. So next, what Pete's gonna do, this is the hammer strength row. So it's a, the arms move independently and we've loaded 90 pounds on each side. Okay, that, that's gonna vary on wherever you're at in your program, if you've ever started exercising. Pete's gonna do 90 pounds on an arm. So where does, where does it work on my back? Where, where does it work so out? So we're gonna, we're gonna hit the big muscle back here that kind of gives you that V taper. Yeah. That's really what we're going to hit. We're going to do some movements here. So the back, basically, most of the muscles are okay. the back. So we're going to work here. 
Okay, cool. not the lower back necessarily, not like the erector spinae. I don't want to get too technical. I don't want to name all the muscles necessarily. That's not, just know that what we're doing here is going to help make Pete's shoulders safer. It's going to keep, maintain joint integrity. It's going to make him stronger, less likely to hurt himself when he's doing other movements. So back is very important. So we're going to do a close row here. Okay, so there's little middle grips here. Gonna grab onto those. Sit up nice and tall. Shoulders down, shoulders back. Control it forward. Down, back. 12, so 12, 12 reps. 12 reps. 12 reps, first set. All right, hold here. Yep, sit up nice and tall. Shoulders down, shoulders back. Chest up. A little slower. Well, I'm feeling it in my back, though. My lower back, because I'm holding the weight up. Yeah. Go ahead and let yourself rest against the chest pad. Just up, let it rest. Oh, okay, there you are. Wow. <clears throat> so I was telling him I was feeling the stress in my back, and he said, just lean against the pad. I never thought of that. Get one more. So I was feeling it right here because I was leaning against this. Interesting. So now we're gonna do a body weight row. We're gonna use the TRX to do this. So you're gonna hold on to the straps. Okay. Lean back. And you're gonna do the same movement here that you did over there with the weights. Shoulders down, shoulders back. Just pull yourself up. Nice and straight. So this is something that somebody could do at home if they didn't have any weights, right? Absolutely. Okay. You can sell these. These are TRX, suspension training. You can buy these, find a place that's secure. You throw them in your house, basement, wherever. So how do you know how far to get back? I want you to go as far as you can. Yeah, sweet Jesus. There you go. <clears throat> Shoulders back. Yep. <clears throat> Good. Nice and straight. <clears throat> Really? As we get tired, walk your legs up right. <laughs> My forearms, bro. Okay, yes. Just some more. Yes. All right, here we go. First attempt. Whoa. All right, here we go. All right, man. I felt that My forearms, bro. Yes. Okay, here we go. Yes. Except for the abs, has, has taxed the grip. Go ahead and relax there, that's good. What? That's a good set. It's right here. Bro. What? That's funny, because if we'd have started off with that first, I'd be putting them out. I can't even do three right now. That's crazy, okay. So this is one of my favorite ab exercises. Too much crunching, too much sit-ups, over time, you can develop bulging or herniated discs. Yeah. So we can train the midsection muscles, the muscles that brace the spine, without doing all a bunch of crunches. This is one of my favorite exercises. It's called stir the pot. So we're gonna plank on this ball. The wider your base, the easier it'll be, right? So the more narrow the base, the harder it is. Okay. And you're gonna need circles. like that. Ah, all right. Now, I know you're probably thinking, this looks easy. Yeah, but you ain't already worked your abs over there. <laughs> all right, here we go. So we're gonna do three circles to the left, three circles to the right. So we'll do that five okay, times. So you want like this? Yep, push off the ball. Okay. There you go. Well, you even cross your legs, that's yeah. advanced. I gotta get, oh, yeah, oh. yeah. Hey, dude, bro. 
Sweet Jesus, dude. How'd yeah. you do that? Yes. Uh, I'm a professional. Uh, whoo! Because uh, you're, you're balancing, right? Yep. Uh, let's get my thumb. That's fine. That's fine. That's right. That's right. We'll let the exercise do its, do its thing. Oh, man. Are you kidding me, bro? I'm trying to do this gracefully. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, so you're trying to balance yourself. So, you just gotta try this, I can't really explain. So how many more of these am I doing? I need one more. Okay. Three to the left, three to the right. Okay. What? Is that it? That's it. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. All right. What's cool is I got these recorded so I can go back and hit them again, right? But I already committed 90 days, so. Now, hey, Joe, how long have you been doing this, bro? 10 years. A little more, but 10 years. Okay. So you know what you're doing. I think so. Okay, so I was feeling pain in my back the first time because I was kind of trying to hold the weight with my back. I'm gonna lean on it right here. Yep. Lift yep. Make sure your back is straight, but go ahead and lean against that. Okay. Let that take that stress from the lower back. Alright, cool. Shoulders See, the down. hard thing is pulling the shoulders back. That's what's hard for me, bro. Nope. The shoulder blade is the hub of the shoulder girdle, the shoulder <coughs> joint. The, the, uh -huh. It has to be able to move freely. If it's too stiff, you're going to increase injury at the shoulder. Okay, I got to do some more. How many was that? That was nine. Well, Hang on a second. Hang on a second. We're going to make a quick adjustment. Quick adjustment. It's changing the weight. Oh, you're going lighter on me, huh? Just a little bit. Cool. So it's crazy because John was in here for, I've been coming for four years. And John off and on, he saw I was really heavy and he used to give me tip or tips. And then you train Navy, you train my son for wrestling. And he got my son ripped in 30 days. And I'm like, dude, if you could do that for him in 30 days, what could you do in 90? And I got to know him, talked to him a little more. We've been talking about this for years, man. And finally, I was like, I don't want to work out with you, bro, because you intimidate me. But, we, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> All right. Slower now. We lighter weight, slower. Pull it back, hold it. Three seconds forward. Beautiful. Drop them down. Keep them low. Now the reason we keep them low is so you can feel it in your lower back, right? We're trying to hit the lats. Yeah, yeah. We're not, we're not trying to elevate. We're trying to retract the shoulder blade. Down. Down yeah, and back. I feel that. Otherwise, it, you'll have a tendency to want to raise them up. That's not what we're trying to do. So it's hitting. By me lowering my shoulders, it's pinching, right? You feel that? Yeah, I can that feel it. pulling that. back there, yeah. I can feel it. Okay, yeah. how many more? So we're trying to target the, the lap. Well, since we stopped, B, I say three. Three okay. sound right. You can count. Three? I think it's three. Okay, here we go. One. Good control. Two more. Boom. Good. One more. Nice and slow. That's it. Whoa, okay. So I'm feeling that. Right here, right, oh snap, I can feel that. Yeah. <laughs> right there, look at that. Sticking out. Stop! We've been beating Pete up here. We've been beating him up pretty good. So at this point, 
we're gonna go as low as he can go, but as he starts to lose range on this, we're gonna have him start to walk his body up upright more, a little bit at a time, to take a little bit of stress off so he can continue I, the movement. I don't know what you mean by that. Could you show me what you mean by that? Yeah, yeah. I don't understand what he means by that. So I'm Pete. Let's pretend for the moment that I'm Pete. He's way down here. He's rocking it out. Now he's getting tired. So he's losing range. So he's not able to pull himself up. Take a step back. It's a little better. Oh, okay. It's a little better. I get a few more. Uh, that starts to be too much. Take a step back. Okay. Oh. All right. You should keep going with it. So, bro, that's why. That's why it was so hard for me because I was almost flat. Yep. What? Yep. Cool. There you go. There you go. My forearms. Yes. Right. Yes. Right there. Yes. I wasn't walking that one out, bro. Yes. Maybe I should have. That's fine. Okay. It's fine. So we're doing what? How many more? Let's do four more. Okay. It's four. They're keeping count. They say four. It's okay, four. cool, no problem. This is like right here. Okay, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, okay, 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 all right. Let's see you right, John. It's funny, because I brought my headphones, I didn't even turn them on yet. <laughs> so, I didn't even turn these on. Okay. Okay, these are probably my worst. These worst. are tough. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this workout. These are tough. I don't like it. Ah. Okay, one, two, Three. Like it makes me want to throw up. One. Let's not do that. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two. One. Two more. Start pushing out. My forearms are killing me. It's all you. You can keep that. I don't want to set it. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. That makes me want to throw up. I can actually feel. So, I felt like I want to throw up on that. I'm trying to figure out. I haven't eaten anything. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's the problem. I took a free workout. I mean, a, a protein shake. That would help. Okay. But so, briefly, I'd mentioned carbohydrates. Yeah. They're not bad for you. Carbohydrates are not bad for you. Uh, we'll get into some nutrition here in a moment. But there's a lot of fad diets out there, and they'll demonize carbohydrates. Okay. Where if you're trying to exercise, carbohydrate is going to be one of your best friends. Because that's going to be blood sugar. See, I never knew that. What? So, so, is, there, so is there a science behind this? Is this what is this? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So we need to be sure that we are loaded up with fuel. Okay. Right? Because I'm going to ask you to use those carbohydrates during our workouts, especially okay. when they're pretty intense. I'm going to need you to use that fuel. Okay. Okay. And then. Since a lot of what we're doing is moving weight around, we're going to look to grow muscle, which is where the protein's going to come in to help, but we still need those carbs. Don't forget those carbs. Oh, gasoline. Right. Right. Okay. Carbs and gasoline. Right. Really? Right. Okay. Protein will help recover the muscles that we tear down. That happens when you're out of the gym. We tear the muscles down in the gym. Your recovery's out of the gym. Sleep is very important. Okay. Making sure you're getting good sleep. Okay. okay. Exercise will help with that. 
Exercise will help with stress, depression, a lot of anxiety. If you can find a place where you can exercise and push yourself 30 minutes, I would prefer an hour, but you can get the same effects. You can get good hard workout in 30 minutes. And then what happens as we grow the muscle, we will increase the rate at which your body burns fat, okay. known as the basal metabolic rate. So you want to burn only what you're going to use. We're going to, well, during the workout, those carbs that you eat, we're going to burn them up. Okay. We're going to burn them up. So a good breakfast. If you work out, especially because you work out in the morning, a yeah. good breakfast is very important. Yeah. So we're gonna burn through that fuel. Okay. Protein that you get in after the workout to rebuild the muscle. And then as we grow muscle, we'll burn more fat even while we sleep. Okay. See, I had somebody reach out to me, they were saying like, Pete, you know, I'm working out, I'm doing this, you know, I'm getting up in the morning and they're like, I'm just not losing weight. I'm getting sore, I'm getting tired, my joints are hurting, my muscles are hurting, get on the weight. They ain't gaining, uh, they ain't losing weight. Seems like they're gaining weight, but they don't see a difference. And so what do you do with that? I think that has to do with what we're eating, right? And how Absolutely. we're eating. Absolutely. You can't, here's another good one for you. You can't out train poor nutrition. Okay. So if he's got a lack of nutrition, yeah. his joints will probably start to hurt. Okay. His workouts will suffer. He's consuming more, car more, more calories than what he's burning at the end of the day. Okay. And so you need to be able to control what goes in your body. Okay, now we're gonna get a meal plan at some point, right? We're gonna talk about that. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's the thing with me. See, I have, a, I have a relationship with food. I love to eat. So I gotta change my relationship. I was gonna go vegan this year, but see, so you know what? I'm gonna submit to John, whatever John wants to do. If John says, hey, uh, I want you to eat meat, proteins, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna do everything that he says, and I fully submitted. So I'm gonna do everything that he says and I'm gonna do it exactly the way he says. I'm not gonna do any shortcuts at all for the 90 days because I wanna look in the mirror and I wanna say, okay, John, this is what you helped me achieve. I don't wanna say, well, you know, I did my best, but really I didn't. But I wanna look in the mirror and say, okay, did I really commit to the 90 days because everything takes commitment. So uh, if you don't have a trainer, or if you don't have someone to hold you accountable, find someone to hold you accountable. Accountability is key because you gotta find a group of people. If you have a lot of people that eat cookies and snacks and stuff like that and you hang around with them all day, guess what? At some point you're gonna be eating the same thing they're eating. So you gotta get around people that don't eat that and if you, know, if you don't have new friends, stuff like that, just say, hey, you know, talk to them and say, look, I'm committing to 90 days. Please don't slide your pies in front of me. Please don't invite me to these um, functions. Please don't." Don't bring me snacks, please don't do that because this is really hard enough as it is for me. And I'm talking to myself because I always do this to train everybody when they're eating snacks. I'll, they're trying to fast, I'll slide cake and stuff, just playing around. So I'm, I'm talking <laughs> to myself. So, okay. So yeah, what's, what's going on? Where are we going? What are we doing? Well, uh, I'd like to hit that same set one more time. Okay, this one here? This one here. Okay, I'm gonna hit it one more time. Okay, all right. Day two, um, guys, once again, uh, I'm gonna stay consistent. This is day two, and uh, talked about nutrition today. Talked about form, consistency, a lot of good stuff in here, guys. Um, I'm just gonna keep recording, and I'm gonna film and track my progress for the next 90 days. This is the 90 day lifestyle challenge. I'm asking you guys to join me, jump on board. Everything that you'll need are on these videos. Everything that you need to succeed. Um, I'm gonna start talking about how you incorporate this is a lifestyle into your families, um, into your, your workplace. And just throughout the day, it's a mindset, guys. So this isn't just about what you do in the gym. You take this mindset with you everywhere you go. So it's not just about showing up. It's about doing the things that you need to do even when you're not in the gym. And that's the hardest part. And I'm starting to learn that. I'm starting to understand that there's some uh, consistencies that need to be done in order for there to be a change. What really got me today was when I was doing the workout, I was doing certain movements and he would slow me down and say, okay, look, concentrate on these movements, slow down. And I'm doing a weight that's lighter than what I'm usually doing. And he said, look, you're, you're moving heavy weight, but that's the thing, you're just moving it. And you don't just want to move weight. You want to make sure that your muscles are feeling the movements and actually feeling uh, the tension. And so I was moving a certain way. And I'm not going to lie to you, the first 20 minutes, I mean, I'm usually working out for an hour, an hour and a half, and I'm moving mad weight. 
I looked at the clock, I came in here at 8, it was 8.20, my whole back was on fire, and I looked at the clock and I said, brother, it's only been 20 minutes. So, this proves that if you just do things right, slow down, take your time, you'll see more results. So guys, uh, in the name of Jesus, I want to bless you. This is the 90 Day Lifestyle Challenge. Uh, follow me as I follow Christ. Jesus is a real strong, just hype man.